Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. And today we have a question from one of our readers, and it goes like this. Many years ago, way back in the 1970s, I read John T. Molly's book, Dress for Success, and recall him talking about where the end of the tie should fall. I recall the tip of the tie should, top, should uh, touch the top of the buckle. My question is, does this rule still hold true? I see so many people violating this rule, often by many inches in both directions, that internally I shudder. I see it so often, I am now second guessing myself and wondering if I'm just out of date and if this still, if this style rule still holds true. All right. So John T. Molly, if you're not familiar with his book, Dress for Success, was a landmark book that came out at a time when people, you know, we, we all have understood that appearances matter, but his book was probably one of the first mainstream ones. It came out of nowhere and it really got a lot of people thinking and it was the only one of its kind uh, and it really got people thinking about this and that's so that's what he's referring to. Since then, a number of great books have come out and it's not as, uh, I, I don't think as taboo of a subject. It was kind of understood by certain men in culture. I, I mean, Harry S. Truman, one of our presidents, he was a haberdasher. A lot of people don't know that. He was always a smart dresser. JFK, he's constantly put up as one of the smartest dressed presidents of, uh, of this century. Uh, Ronald Reagan, oh, well, that's a little bit more modern. So he might have actually read the book. But in any case, where does that tie tip need to go? My rule, and I'm going to actually use the, uh, the sheet of paper. If you could imagine this is your belt buckle, the tie tip should fall somewhere in between where the belt buckle's at. So obviously, if you're a cowboy and you're wearing a tie, you've got a lot more leeway than a man that's wearing a dress belt and that, that little square is a lot smaller. I also say that, you know, within half an inch, you can be above or below. And if the tie starts to go outside of that range, you need to consider retying it. And if you don't tie a tie often, you'll find that sometimes you've got to tie a tie two to three times to get it exactly where it needs to be. Now, now, why does it need to be at this point? What is the reason? Well, they're probably, you know, I don't think anyone's going to, you know, have a real issue and stop you. But, but it is something, it starts to look sloppy. If it's too short, it makes it look like you're wearing a tie that's too short. It just doesn't look right. It doesn't complete the line of the shirt. And if it's too long, all of a sudden it starts dangling near your crotch area. And that's not what you want. So go for the belt buckle. I think the center of the belt buckle is a great point to go for. And within the buckle is perfect. Half an inch above or below the buckle is okay. So. My quick answer to your question, well, not necessarily quick, I kind of give you a little bit of history about John Molly's book. Go check it out. It's a good book. But uh, that's it for our question and answer today. And if you would like to hear more from us, uh, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can do that right above here or join our email list. I put out a lot of information on the email list. I don't release anywhere else and it's a great place to stay in touch. We only bombard you with those emails probably. Well, at first you're going to get a series of emails, but I try to only send out one or two a week and it's 75% of the time, just great, useful information. Occasionally I'm a custom clothier. I'm trying to sell things. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> join our email list, subscribe and stay tuned for more information. Take care. Bye-bye.